Pray, <clears throat> praise God, praise God. Praise God. Welcome, welcome. Amen. We serve a good God. Amen. Welcome. How's everyone doing on tonight? Praise God. Praise God. Welcome all of you. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Do me a favor while you're logging in here. Do me a favor and invite some of your friends to join us. Amen. I have a very important, praise God. God bless you. That's Mrs. Angela Garcia, right? <laughs> praise God. Oh, yes, we do. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Can't wait to go into the word here. But let me give a, let me give some more people a chance to jump on here with us. But do me a favor. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting your friends. Invite some of your followers to be a part of this quick Bible study that we're going to jump into here. Psalms 91. I know yesterday, God bless you, my cousin Chris, all the way in the Bahamas. God bless you. Welcome, brother. Yes. Uh, yesterday, I said I was going to take these next couple of days and go over some of my favorite psalms. Amen. And tonight we're talking about a Psalms 91, a psalm of divine protection. God's got your back. So please, yes, <laughs> so please invite some more of your friends on here. Remember to tweet this, share it on Twitter. Amen. Share it on Twitter. I know some of you, have, I think all of us got a Twitter account. So yes, go on ahead and share this on Twitter, please. Invite as much of your friends and followers as possible because this is very important. I'm convinced it's going to minister to them. Oh, mighty God we serve. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Happy Sunday evening. Sunday night, I should say. Praise God. Praise God. We love you, Lord Jesus. Come on, let's worship God for a few minutes. Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we worship you, God. We magnify you. We bless you, God. We honor you. We thank you for the word of God. Your word is precious, oh God. Your word is precious. Minister to us from your word. Bring clarity into our lives. Give us divine instructions from the Holy Spirit. Increase our faith, God. Strengthen us, God. Lift us up. Encourage us. Comfort us. Heal us. Speak peace to our lives, God. Break every demonic force, every demonic attack that's arraigned against your people. Shut it down, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way in our hearts, in our lives tonight. We surrender to you, Lord. We say, not our will, but let your perfect will be done in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Praise God. Someone say amen. Amen. Do you love the book of Psalms? Oh, I love the book of Psalms. God used this book to speak to me and my wife countless, countless times. Remember, we started off, we started off in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 16 yesterday, where the Apostle Paul laid the foundation for the importance of the book of Psalms by saying that we must speak to one another teaching one another and admonishing one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. So the Apostle Paul said the book of Psalms is a great book to admonish one another from. That word admonish means to, to encourage. It actually means to, to give instruction. It also means to warn. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. But look, let's jump right into the book without any hesitation. Let's jump right into the book of Psalms chapter 91. Do you love the word of God? Amen. Come on here, somebody. Talk back to me. Do you love the word of God? There ain't nothing to be compared to the word of God. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1, amen. God bless you. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was was God. Then John chapter 1 verse 14 says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we behold, we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth, full of grace and truth. So the word of God is a person. The word is Jesus Christ. The book of Revelation talks about him riding on a white horse and he had this thing wrapped around him and on it said, the, his name is called the Word of God. 
Praise God. Remember when Jesus was tempted by the devil in the book of Matthew chapter 4 and Luke chapter 4. What did he use on the devil? He said, it is written. He used the word against him to cut the devil up, put him in his place. He resisted the devil with the word. And the Bible says in Luke chapter 4 verse 13, Jesus put such a beating on the devil with the word of God that Satan had to leave him for a season and go and regroup. Hello, somebody. That's what I'm talking about right there. I say, that's what I'm talking about. James 4, 7 says, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. You got more power than the devil because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says he will flee from you because Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ lives in you. Praise God. And no weapon that's formed against you will be able to prosper in every demonic tongue that rises up against you. In judgment, it shall be condemned because this is the heritage of the servants of God and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I don't know about you, but I feel the Holy Ghost already. <laughs> I said, I feel the Holy Ghost already. Praise God. Praise God. All right. All the way from Abbeville, South Carolina. God bless you. God bless you, my dear sister. Give me just one second here. Oh, I tell you, I'm in love with this man called Jesus. I'm in love with his word. I'm in love with, the, with being led by the Holy Ghost. You know, the Bible says those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. Praise God. Praise God. Let's go to the book of Psalms chapter 91. If you got a Bible, you may want to turn there with me. Follow along as we go into the word of God. I believe God wants to minister to his people on tonight. Wants to encourage us from the word. Father, give us as to hear what the spirit of God is saying to the church. Make it real. Make it so simple that even a child could understand what you are saying tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Now watch this, Psalm chapter 91. Well, this is what we're talking about. God's got your back. You, someone need to hear that tonight. I say, God's got your back. This is a psalm of divine protection. And if there is ever a time we need to know that God's got our back, it's these evil days that we are living in. Amen? Terrorism on the rise, murder, crime, all kind of stuff's going on. But it's so good to know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, not a weak tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, glory to God, the righteous run therein and they are safe. Watch this. Psalms chapter 91 verse 1. Let's go into it. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <clears throat> my, 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 my. Praise be to God. The Bible says, he that dwells, that word dwell right there means to live, to stay. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's the person that takes that, takes that time out with God to seek the face of God. That's a, that's a Christian who finds time to spend time worshiping God, built in, increasing, strengthening your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, spending time in the word of God. Absolutely, Sister Geraldine, spending time in the word of God, seeking his face. The Bible says, he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Notice, you ever you ever notice, you ever been out there on a hot sunny day and you tried to find a, 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 a shaded parking spot and you parked that car no matter how hot the sun was, you parked that car right underneath the shadow of the trees and it blocked some of, it blocked the heat from getting all the way into your car. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, just how that tree can block the heat from getting into your car and making it extra hot. 
The person who hangs with God is shielded from the heat of the enemy. Are you listening to me? So he said, he who dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. The shadow of the almighty, that's the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. That's the presence of God. That's the anointing of the Spirit of God. Are you listening to me? When you spend time in the presence of God, people can tell, they can feel it. Are you hearing me? Because when you open your mouth, when you step into the room, people know, wait a minute, there is something different about this person. There is something totally different about, about this person. I remember when we lived in Little Rock, Arkansas. I was at a barber shop. This is at least about 12 years ago now. I was at a barber shop just waiting to get my hair cut. And me and my brother-in-law were sitting there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this lady who worked there, the hairdresser, she walked by several times. She kept looking in my direction. Finally, she couldn't take it. She said, she said, sir, can I talk to you? I said, sure. She said, you a man of God, aren't you? I said, well, yes, ma'am. I said, well, well, how do you know? She said, every time I pass in the front of you, I feel the presence of God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You see, sometimes you ain't got to be quick to open your mouth and declare who you are. Sometimes it's just good to sit back and let God talk on your behalf. Let God speak on your behalf. The Bible says, let, a, let another praise you and not your own lips. Man, listen, I, I, we weren't trying to be saved. We just went to get our hair cut. But the anointing of the Holy Ghost couldn't be hid. Are you hearing me? I said the anointing can't be hid. When, when the anointing of the Holy Ghost is on your life, people will recognize it. Amen. Some people will try to deny it all they can. But when God calls you, when he chooses you, and he placed his hands on your life, even the demons know God have his hands on your life. Look at what, look at what the woman, look, look at what the demon possessed woman said to the apostle Paul. Look at what they said. They said, Paul we know and Jesus we know. My God, when you anointed the demons even know who you are and they dread you. They're afraid of you because Jesus said, I feel the Holy Ghost, man. I want to shout a little bit here. Jesus said, it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord God. And when God has anointed you, the, the presence of God will hover over you to protect you. He said to Abraham, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. David said, he is my shield and my buckler. He is my glory and the lifter up of my head. Who is it that that's, that's next in line for promotion? Man tried to stand on you. They tried to sit on you. They tried to hold you back, but they can't hold you back no longer because God got his hands on your life. And when God gets ready to raise you up, there ain't nothing the devil in hell can do about it. I remember a few years ago, I preached a, preach a message is called rejected by man but chosen by God. The Bible says the stone the stone which the builders rejected has become the head, has become the chief stone, become the chief stone. Are you hearing me? They can't sit on you no longer. I feel like I'm talking to somebody tonight that's about to step into their season, about to step into their time, about to come into their day, about to come into their hour. David said, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. That's what God's about to do, do for somebody. The devil tried to hinder you. He tried to slow down your progress, but I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost tonight. I feel the shackles are being broken. I feel the spirit of limitation is being defeated right now in in the name of Jesus, the word of God says, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. That's the presence of God. As you spend time with God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, it would begin to envelop you. It would begin to thicken on you to the point that, listen, the apostle Peter understood what it was to dwell in the secret place of the most high to the point that his shadow began to pick up and carry the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says to the point that they laid the sick out in the streets. Man, are you listening to me? The Bible says they laid the sick they laid the meme, they laid the, they laid the blind and the demon possessed, the paralyzed, 
they laid him on the sidewalk. And the Bible says as the apostle Peter passed by, as he passed by, his shadow fell on the sick and they begin to be healed by the power of God, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. When you dwell in the secret place, when you spend time with God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost begins to increase on your life. It begins to mantle you. It begins to thicken on your life. My God, are you listening to me? I'll just, just stay in Uganda. Earlier this year, preaching a miracle service in one of the villages that I, I, I got to be careful how I say this, but there was this woman from a certain religion. Her husband was in charge of the entire temple and he sent, he sent his wife. He said, go down there. Go and let that man of God pray for you because miracles are happening down there. Are you listening, friend? Friend, that day I was preaching on the anointing. This woman was almost totally blind. She was declared legally blind by the doctors. She could she could see 12 inches away and she couldn't see. All she could make out was shadows and she was almost totally deaf. I was preaching on the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Man, I didn't even pray for the sick that day. Didn't even lay hands on one sick person. But while as I was preaching and walking up and down in the midst of the crowd, the power of God descended on that woman. And man, listen here, when the power falls, it don't take God a long time. And within a matter of moments, that woman could see 2020. She could see all the way to the back in the front of the church. Are you hearing me? God opened the ears up, gave a perfect hearing and perfect sight. We shouted, we rejoiced, and we gave glory to God because Jesus Christ, hey, the bubble shut up. Jesus Christ is alive, and he, the Bible says, Jesus said, If I be lifted up from this earth, I'm gonna draw all men unto me. Just lift up the name of Jesus when the gospel is preached under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The devil has to go, the demon has to go. Witchcraft is broken, limitation is broken, poverty is broken, paralysis is healed, blind. And eyes are open, deaf ears are unstopped, cancer is cured because it's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody sh shout and give our God some praise. Glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Mandorobobo Sata. Come on and help me praise Him for just a few minutes. Roko Sata la Babasa. God, we give you praise. God, we give you glory. God, we give you honor. God, we magnify you. We bless your name, O oh God. We bless your name, O oh God. He is worthy to be praised. I said he is worthy to be praised and adored. God, we praise you. We thank you, God. We thank you for the anointing of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, God. For the presence of God, we thank you, Lord, that Jesus is real to us. He is not in the grave. He is alive. He is alive. And he said, all power has been given unto me in heaven and in earth. And the apostle Paul says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. He is not dead. He is alive. He is alive. I said, he is not dead. He is alive. My God, somebody help me. Just worship him tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We worship you tonight, God. We magnify you tonight. You got our back tonight, God. You got our back, God. You're watching over us, God. To protect us, God. To keep us from harm. To protect us from danger. To shut down the attacks of the enemy, God. We bless you tonight. We bless you tonight, God. We bless you, God. Hallelujah. He's on our side. He's on your side. The Lord's on your side. God's got your back. He that dwells. He that dwells. In the secret place, in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide, shall abide under the shadow 
under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, under the divine protection of the living God. Are you hearing me tonight? My, 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 my. There is power in the name of Jesus. I said there is power in the name of Jesus. So the Bible says, David said in Psalms 91 verse 2, I will say of the Lord, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Oh my God. He is my refuge and my fortress. He is my fortress. That's a fortified area. That's a military stronghold. He is my fortress. My God in him will I trust. His, it says verse 3, surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you'll trust. His truth, that's the word of God that we are in tonight. His truth, his truth shall be our shield and our buckler. He will deliver. Listen, David said, surely, surely, affirmatively, without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, every demonic trap that's set out there to destroy you, to cut you down, to, to take you out before your time. David said, surely, he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you shall trust. His truth, that's the word of God. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckle. Thou shall not be afraid. You shall not be afraid. The Bible says, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I feel the spirit of fear been attacking somebody. I rebuke the spirit of fear. I bind it off of you in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, fear not. Fear thou not, for I am with you. Fear not. Fear not. Every time the angel showed up, they said, fear not. Fear not, friend. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. He has your back. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, power, and of love and of a sound mind. Acts 1.8, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Jesus said in Luke 10.19, behold, I've given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, which is symbolic of demonic powers. I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing, absolutely nothing, under no circumstances shall by any means hurt you. Are you listening to me tonight, friend? God's got your back. I say, God's got your back. Come on, help me preach this thing. He said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand, having your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of peace, having on the loins of truth, having on the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the helmet of salvation, and praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I pray divine protection over your life right now. I pray divine protection over your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover your life. I cover your children. I cover your job. I cover your business. I cover your ministry in the blood of Jesus. 
the vision of God for your life, the plan of God for your life. I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I release angels around you right now. For the Bible says the angels of God encamp round about those that fear him and God will show them his covenant. I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Divine protection over your life right now. You shall live and not die to declare the works of God. You are healed and not sick right now in the name of Jesus because by his stripes you were healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hour that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. I love this verse. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Jesus said, ain't gonna even come near you. That's the divine protection of Almighty God. Are you hearing me tonight? That's the divine protection of Almighty God. Jesus said, those that are in the Father's hands, no man can pluck them out. Jesus said, those that are in the Father's hands, no man, no woman, no warlock, no demon, no principality, no devil can pluck them out. God's got your back, friend. Who is it I'm preaching to tonight? I say, God's got your back. God's got your back. Your children might not be serving God, but God's got your back. My, 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 my. I say, God's got your back. I say, God's got your back. Glory to God. Are you receiving this on tonight? I said, are you receiving, are you receiving the word of God on tonight? That God's got your back. He has you covered, friend. I say, God got you covered. You ain't got to worry. You ain't got to fear. You ain't got to worry how it's going to work out because God's going to make it work out. The Bible says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, even to them that are called according to his purpose. <clears throat> A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come near you. <clears throat> I wrote a book some a few years ago. It's the name of it is A Call to the Miraculous. I in that book I share how God taught us and show us from the word of God how to tap into the miracle work and power of God. You might want to get your hands on that book. It's powerful. You can visit our website after this broadcast and check it out. It's not expensive at all. 9.99. Amen. But you want to check that book out, A Call to the Miraculous. I shared about my first 40-day fast, 40 days and 40 nights. Amen? Just water and juice only, no food, sought God. And after that 40-day fast was over, the miracle working power of God came into my life. And from that day, I fasted from October 16th all the way to November 25th. This was in 99. And 12 days after that fast, the power of God came in my life and miracles begin to happen. The blind saw, the deaf heard, the cripples walk. People who were scheduled for spinal cord surgery, their surgeries were canceled by the power of God. Then God began to work creative miracles. God recreated a man's heart. My God, broken legs were healed, broken arms. He is a miracle working God. I was so hungry for the power of God, I wasn't satisfied. So in the year 2000, I jumped on another 40 day fast. In the year 2005, jumped on another 40 day fast. 2008, jump on another 40 day fast. Fasted 21 days several times. Why? Because I'm hungry. I ain't got time to play church. If it's written, it's real. I want to see, listen, I'm seeing it happen in my life. God is real. The same miracles that happen in the life of Christ. It's happening to me and my wife life. Why? Because Christ in us, the hope of glory. The apostle Paul said, it's not I, but it's Christ that lives in us. We can't touch the glory. We can't take any credit. It's the Lord Jesus that live in us, that's healing the sick, that's causing the cripples to walk, that's opening the eyes of the blind, that's unstopping the ears of the deaf, that's healing people with HIV, healing people with cancer. He is a miracle working God. You need to check that book out right after this broadcast. Go right to our website. Is it on Amazon? It's on Amazon and they'll ship it to your house, but they're going to charge you a whole lot more than I will. Amen. But if you go to our website, you, you can download it instantly. It's a PDF file. You can download it immediately. Enough advertising. Let me jump back into the word. <laughs> but listen, it will bless you. We have pictures. 
We have pictures in that book of people who were healed by the power of God. Paralyzed people who walked. People who had cancer that were healed. People who were blind, their eyes, that God gave them their sight back. People who were deaf, they can hear. People who had different stuff wrong in their bodies, and God healed them. And listen, you know why I'm encouraging you to get that book? Because in that book, I share serious stuff from the Word of God why the church today lacks the miraculous. What do we need to do? The name of the book is A Call to the Miraculous. And in that book, I share the price for the miracle working power of God. What do you need to do to tap into the power? And I showed exactly what I did to tap into the power of God. I didn't hide it. I'm not holding the secret back. I want you to make it. I want you to survive. I want you to have the same miracles that you read that God did in the life of the apostle, that he did in the life of the apostle Peter, what he did in the life of Christ, what he did in the life of Moses, Elijah, Elisha. Friend, me and you are serving the same God. We have access to the same God. We have access to the same power. Don't limit yourself. If it's in the Bible, don't settle for the sample. Go after God with everything in you. Don't be just an ordinary church goer. Refuse to just be another Christian. The Bible says these, that's it, that's the name of the book, A Call to the Miraculous. The Bible says these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In my name, they will cast out devils. Are you listening to me? We serve a miracle working God. But right after this broadcast, Grab that book. It will bless your life beyond measure. Are you hearing me? It will bless you. And the second half of that book, I shared the miracles that took place in me and my life, in me and my wife's life and ministry. It will bless you beyond measure. I highly recommend it to you because I paid a price before God to see what we're seeing happen. Amen. Praise God. Now watch this. So in verse eight, he says, only with your eyes, you're going to Behold and see the reward of the wicked. You ain't got to fight them people back that's coming against you. God said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. He is going to repay them. Let God handle them. Let God handle those people. If they're lying on you, if they're saying all man of evil against you falsely, God's got your back, friend. You ain't got to worry about them. God's going to take care of them. I say God's going to take care of them. Put those people in God's hands. He's got your back. You hear me? He said to Jehoshaphat, fear not. You will not need to fight in this battle because this battle belongs to, to the Lord. Amen. Now watch this. Remember how David, remember David in the front of Goliath, he said, look, you come to me with a sword and a spear, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the name of the God of Israel, whom you defied. And this day, God's going to deliver you into my hands. God's got your back, friend. <clears throat> Are you hearing me? Watch this. Verse 9 says, Because thou, because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil. Now watch. From verses 1 through 8, David's talking. From verse 9 through 16, God's talking. So God said in verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. That's sickness and diseases. He'll protect you from it. Exodus 15, 26, he said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. He didn't say I was. He said, I am. He's present tense right here, right now. He is a miracle worker. He is a healer. He says, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. If they try to poison you, Jesus says you'll drink poison and it wouldn't even kill you. That's not all. On purpose, that's accidentally drinking it. He will protect you from it. Amen. Watch this. Verse 11, he says, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all thy ways. Do you know the angels of God are watching over you right now? They are protecting you right now. This very second, the angels of God are around you, friend. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Verse 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion 
and Ada, the young lion and the dragon, that's demonic spirits, and the devil himself. Listen, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. You're going to tread upon them. You're going to stump on them. You're going to defeat them. You're going to whip them at every turn. Why? Because Christ lives in you. The real lion of the tribe of Judah. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. The Bible says, for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Praise God. <clears throat> Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shall thou trample under feet. You're going to stump on him, amen? The apostle Paul in Romans said, he says, God will bruise Satan's head shortly under your feet. Watch this. God said, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him? That's the second time in this chapter. God said he's going to deliver you because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him? I will set him on high because he has known my name. Oh, glory to God in the highest. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Watch this verse 16. With long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? That word salvation means deliverance from sin, deliverance from sickness, deliverance from poverty, deliverance from diseases. God's got your back. Divine protection. I said divine protection. God's got you and your family covered. I said God's got you and your family covered. If your back have been up against the wall and you've just been wondering, Pastor Sean, there's just been so much going on in my life, frustrations, pressure. Sometimes I don't know which way to turn. Friend, I'm telling you where to turn. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run therein and they are saved. They are safe. God has your back. Divine protection. He's watching over you right now. I say God is watching over you this very second. Are you listening to me? The apostle Peter said the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. His eyes are on you right now. The apostle Peter said the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are open under their cry. Praise God. And that's it. Salvation. So that's the Greek word. You got it right. Deliverance from sin, deliverance from poverty, deliverance from diseases. We serve a miracle work in God. Praise God. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, God. Yes. Father God, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost on your people right now. I release the anointing of the Holy Ghost on your people right now. Touch them. Heal them in their bodies. Give them breakthroughs in every aspect of their life. Give them breakthroughs, God. Give them breakthroughs, God. Give them miracles. Give them miracles, God. God, do things that they are not even expecting because your word says, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Strengthen your people. Shanda Rabba Santa. Shika Rabba Santa. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and receive. I feel a mighty flow of the anointing right here. Glory to God. I feel the presence of God. I feel the presence of God. Can you feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost? Let me know. Can you feel the presence of God with you right there where you are? I feel a strong flow of the presence of God. Come on, just lift your hands, receive. David said in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy and at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Receive miracles right now. Receive miracles of healing in your body. 
Be healed from sickness. Be healed from disease. Be healed from the spirit of infirmity. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Be healed in your spine. Be healed in your shoulders. Be healed in your hip sockets. Be healed in your internal organs, in your kidneys, in your liver. Be healed in your groins right now. Right now, the Holy Ghost showed that to me. Someone with a problem in your groin, be healed in that area right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray you release financial breakthroughs to your people. Give them creative ideas. Give them business ideas. Surround them with investors who would invest in their ideas. Surround them with godly people who are willing to invest money into them, God. Bless your people beyond measure. Bring them out, God. Bring them out. Make them the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower, above only and not beneath. Bless and not curse. Heal and not sit. In the name of Jesus, increase them, I pray, on every side. Every demonic trap, every demonic snare, every attack the devil has planned for their lives, we cancel it. We expose the enemy. We strip his plans. We command his plans to be void and ineffective right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver your people. Bring them out quickly, Lord. Bring them out quickly, Lord. Bring them out quickly. Your word says, with God, nothing should be impossible. Bless them beyond measure. Remember, pick that book up. It's a call to the miraculous. We got it right on our website, seanpinder.net. You can go, when you pay for this, you can download it immediately. You can download it immediately. And remember, next week, Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we're going to be right here declaring the word of God, praying over you, covering your entire 2016. Amen? we coming into a new year, a new day, a new season. Amen? And we are believing God to do new things in your life. So I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week, Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, declaring the word of God to you. We love you guys. We appreciate you. I'll be back on here tomorrow sometime. Amen. Praying with you. Sharing, probably sharing another psalm because these psalms are powerful. Amen. God bless you guys. Y'all take care. I love all of you. Thank you for taking the time out to be with us. Amen. And watching this broadcast. God bless. We love you. We love you. God bless. Good night. Bye-bye.